Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about indexing and slicing a string in Python. So, um, if you saw our previous tutorial, I have this little uh, table here and indexing, um, for example, this, this is a string right here up top there um, and this is the index, the index of the string. So it always starts at zero, so T would be zero, H would be one, I would be two, and S is three. And spaces count as a, um, part of the index as well, so that's four. All right, so we used, we looked at this before. If you didn't see it, you can check it out at uh, Python String Basics at uh, our website on learnpythontutorial.com. But in this one, we're gonna actually access the index, and we're gonna also go to um, slice our string so we can grab from multiple parts of the index. So, just want you to see that little diagram again just to remind you of what we're talking about here. So let's create a string. A is equal to, this is my string, and hit return. So that's my string. I'll call it just to show you. This is my string. All right, so when we want to get an index, when we're indexing in a string, we're actually only be able actually only pulling one um, character if you will from this string here okay so remember t is zero and it counts up zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and so on all right so we're going to do a square brackets which allows us to access the um, which is indicating we're indexing and we're going to say let's get zero and then close out the square brackets, hit return, and we get T. All right, let's, so we got the zero index here. This is the index number. So let's do A, square brackets, one, square brackets, hit return. We get the H. Since we went zero, one, we got the H. Um, let's do one more for practice. A, square brackets, let's do um, six, hit return. All right, so we got six. What six? What s is this? Well, let's look. It's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's that is s. So you know that's indexing in Python. So we can actually grab the one character out when indexing. We can also go from the right. Um, from the left is positive numbers. From the right is negative numbers. But don't get confused. Uh, from the left it always starts at zero, from the right it always starts at negative one. So let's take a look at that. A, square brackets, negative one, square brackets. Hit return, and we get um, negative one comes back with G. So, like I said, always from the right is negative numbers if we're counting from the right hand side. And negative one is our starting point. So negative one is G, the end of string. Let's take a look at one more. A square brackets negative six square brackets hit return that's S. What S is it? Let's take a look. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six. The S in string. Um, so that's indexing. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You just got to understand from the left is positive numbers, from the right is negative numbers, from the left it starts with zero, from the right it starts with negative one. All right, if you can remember that, you'll have no problems with indexing. Now let's take a look at slicing. Um, slicing allows us to grab a larger group of the string. So to do that, uh, we're gonna add just one more limit to our uh, index here, and it makes it allows us to slice. So what I'm gonna do is clear my screen here, call A one more time, and we're gonna use the same string here. All right, so First thing is first, we're going to do A, square brackets, 1, and then when we do a colon, it indicates we're slicing. I'm going to do 5, and then square brackets, hit return. What happened here? Alright, so what happened here was we got we started at 1, which is the H, 0, 1, it's H, so that's our starting point right here is our starting point, and our ending point is 5, so let's find where 5 is. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 is the I. 
okay, why aren't we showing the eye here? Well, our ending point in slicing always stops one point one position um, before where we coded it. I hope that makes sense. I was trying to think of a way to explain this. It always stops one number or one index location position before the index we indicate in our code. All right, so let's take another look at another one here, just for a little bit more practice. A, um, let's do zero, and let's do five. No, let's not do five, let's do four. Square bracket, hit return. All right, so here we got the full uh, this. So let's do this one more time. Zero, one, two, three, Four is the space, all right? So, <laughs> like I said, what our ending point is always gonna end one position before the one we indicate in our code, all right? So it's always one before, all right? So that's that's uh, slicing. Let's take a couple more examples of slicing. Let's try one that looks like this. A, two is our starting point, and then we put the colon to say, hey, we're slicing, and then I'm going to put a square bracket here and hit return. What happens here? Well, we start at the number two index position. So we go 0, 1, 2 is i. And you see in our string, it, that's where it is, is, which is kind of looks funny, is is this part, of, the is is part of this, is is my string. So basically, we're just given a starting point, but not an ending point. If you don't give it an ending point, it's going to go to the end of the string and stop there. Let's take a look at another one. A, square brackets, colon, seven, colon, or not colon, uh, square bracket. So we're not giving it a starting point, but we're giving it an ending point. Hit return. All right, so we're not giving it a starting point, and it's always going to start at zero, default. So we'll start at zero if we don't provide one. So it goes zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then 7 is the space here, so looks right, right? Because it always stops one position before we code it for the ending point. Um, let's take a look at this one. A, square bracket. Let's do 0, colon, negative 1, square bracket. Here, return. And what happened here? Well, we're saying... All right, start at the zero index and go all the way up to the negative one index. Well, negative one index is G, in our case, up here, G, and we're saying that's where you want it to stop. So remember, wherever we want it to stop, it's always one position before that. So it takes out the G and stops at N. Pretty simple, right? Um, how about if we do A, square brackets, colon, square brackets? Oops, that's not square bracket. Square bracket. Hit return. What's going on here? Basically, we're making a copy of our string object up here. All right. Given no starting and no ending, so default is zero, and defaults the end of the string for the ending. Very simple. So that is slicing. Um, now we're going to talk about stepping, which is part of slicing, where it allows us to skip through. Um, uh, characters. Uh, I call it stepping. I can't remember the exact name of it. Skipping, stepping, something like that. If I'm not correct, someone please correct me. Uh, but I believe it's called stepping. A. So we're going to do A. Square bracket 0. And we'll do uh, 9. And then another colon 2. So what's going on here? Oh. Let me put a square break, a square bracket, so I'll forget. Zero, we're starting at the zero index. We're ending at the nine index, but it, but it will actually end at the eight index, and we're skipping um, every other. All right, hit return. T zim. All right, so what happens here? We go T, we skip H, we go I, we skip the S, we get the space, we skip the I, we get the S, we skip the space, we get the M. And I'm guessing number or y is number nine in our index. All right, so that's how that works. We could also take a look at uh, something like this: a square brackets, no default starting point, no default ending point, and we'll do 
count uh, skip by three. Hit return, and we get T S S Y T N. All right. So what's it doing? So we're doing T. It skips two. I said skip three. It's actually skipping two. Skips two. Then we get the S. Skips two more. And then we get the S. Skips two more. And we get the Y. Skips two more. We get the T. And then skips two more. And we get the N. So the third, it's saying skip by two. Um, here's one for you. How about if we do A, square bracket, and we're going to do it the same way. No starting, no ending. Negative one, square bracket. Oops, that's not square bracket. Square bracket. Um, so what happens here? Well, when we're looking at it, we're going to say, all right, well, it's probably going to go and skip uh, backwards. Well, actually, it's going to reverse our string. Check that out. It reverses our string. All right. How about if we do A, square brackets, colon, colon, negative two, square brackets. What's going on here? Well, it's actually going to count backwards, skipping, or it's going to skip backwards. <laughs> it's going to make our string backwards and skip, skip every other one. So hit return. T's and so that's what it does. Whatever the heck that spells. So it's skipping backwards. <coughs> um, so that is stepping in Python. If you give it a negative number, it's going to go backwards to the string. Positive number, it's going to go forward through the string. By, uh, if you give it a 2, it's going to skip every other. If you give it a 3, it's going to go uh, by skip by 2, and so on. Uh, one other way I want to show you the slice, we could do um, something like this. And I didn't show you this because it's you know, something we don't use all that often. Slice, none, oops, none, none. And let's do by 2. And close out our parentheses, cross out our square bracket. So what's happening here? We're saying A, slice our string by none, so there's no default value. For starting point, no default value for the ending point, and we're going to skip by 2, hit return, and there's our T's and tick. Alright. We could also do something like this. A, square bracket, slice, and do um, start at 1, and at nine, close it out there. We don't want to do any stepping. Close out a square bracket, hit return. This is him. So let's take a look at this one more time. We start at one, so we go zero, one. That's our starting point. And then uh, we nine, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We stop at the Y, but it shows us up to M. There you go. So that is slicing, indexing, stepping, if that's what it's called, I can't remember correctly. And uh, we also showed you another way to slice in Python. If you have any questions, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. And we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button if you enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll definitely see you in the next one.